Hi everyone, I'm back with a quick video in the Akashic Records series. Today I'm not really going to be talking about practical advice for you. I have a bunch of advice already in this series. I think I'm going to be sharing more past life Akashic Records anecdotes in the remaining 11 videos. We have about 11 videos left of how past lives were used in um, mystery schools, Akashic Records, how they were used in mystery schools, and also some of these starseed teachings that we hear a lot about now, starseed material, and I just want to put that in a different uh, perspective because a lot of the times the Akashic records, the past lives, which we know of course don't exist, everything is happening simultaneously, it's all sort of being used as a label and I did talk about this a little bit in my video, I think it was titled something along the lines of Earth is not a beginner planet, something like Earth is not a beginner planet and Let's just go to something that Jesus said. Jesus said in one of the Gospels, he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing, is what he said. And then somewhere else in the Bible, he also said, Judge not, lest you be judged. So what does that mean? That means have no judgment over other people. When you all come from God is what that really means. When you should not be labeling yourself to be higher than somebody else, then you are labeling yourself. When you all are unlimited, then you all come from God. Because we are all basically starseeds. We all come from source energy. We are all connected to the same source. This is what Christian mysticism was all about. Recognizing the I am in somebody else. And basically this got triggered. I'm opening my screen here on my computer because I got a question from somebody. And the question was, the people that don't do the work, they must not be starseeds, right? I know it may be a silly question. Now, I know that this person is not judgmental. She was genuinely asking me, are these people doing the work? And then they probably aren't, are they starseeds if they're not doing the work? My response was, all humans are starseeds if you ask me. And it's all about what your plan is for this life. Some people are here to just work through layers of karma without fully consciously being on an awakening journey and they simply have a whole other life plan and mission and some people are here to be very conscious with all that is going on around them and to fully remember and bring heaven on earth and those will be the ones that will remember and they will feel everything very deeply and do the work but everybody is doing the work and that's why I like to always bring Jesus back into the story because we can really learn a lot from the earliest teachings of Jesus. So what Jesus was saying, basically, he could see how even the Romans that were trying to have him killed were doing their spiritual work. He could see how the people in the temples that were opposing him and his teachings were even doing the work. He could see how people that were judging him and what he was saying were even doing the work. And that is where the Akashic Records come in because it is people that are opposing our points of view that are going to be offering this contrast which in result will lead to growth and expansion and that is how every soul 
is doing their part, is doing the work, is adding their little bit of energy to this entire playground of mother, father, God. So all souls are actually doing the work. And what I always like to compare it to is, I'm going to just read off of my screen again. Um, in essence, everybody is doing their work. And a star seed, because Earth is the new kid on the block, and these souls all had to come from somewhere, we're all star seeds. Um, but some people are simply not on a journey of ascension on a soul level yet, because it's like boarding a plane. If you are in boarding group one, then you get to board the plane early. And if you are in group two, you go on the plane a little later. And if you are in group four, you don't get on this plane until 30 minutes after the rest um, and groups one and three are already impatiently waiting for this plane to take off. They want to ascend. They want to go. Um, so... It is all happening in divine order, and that's a metaphor that I like to use a lot. We cannot all just mass ascend. That's not the way it works. We have to be also understanding of the people around us, because true spirituality is also being able to maintain your frequency the frequency that you choose to align with in any circumstance in your life. Whatever is going on around you, whatever people that you are surrounded with, if your consciousness level drops right away or is swayed so easily, depending on who you surround yourself with, and that is an invitation for you to deepen your connection to Mother, Father, God. So that that is the primary frequency that you are in. And that is where the Akashic Records can really come in handy. When you know from past lives who you are, and again, past lives don't exist, it is all parallel lifetimes, then you can call upon all these soul aspects of yours and choose to align with the frequency of your blueprint of who you really are. But this was kind of just a little preaching session. It was not really, an, not really any advice on how to access the Akashic Records, but it is just something also to keep in mind that we are all star seeds. We all come from the stars. Some of us are simply choosing to take on the role of, let's call them boarding group one, that's getting on the plane early, that is doing a lot of stage work on the stage, actively for the world, making these changes, making conscious decisions, doing a lot of, of the work. And then there are those that are doing the work behind the scenes, that may not even be conscious of the fact that they are spiritual beings, that may be living very 3D lives, but they are just as much a child of God consciousness as you are, as I am. And that is why we are all starseeds. Okay, that's it. So if you are interested in your own Akashic Records reading, I do have sales going on right now. Check out my website. If you have any questions about the Akashic Records, send them in. And check out all the other videos that are already online. Bye-bye.